welcome. I am Mislid, and we are going to try a new game today. This is The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. It is a point-and-click adventure game. It is by Nordic Games. They are the guys who did um, Book of Unwritten Tales, and they released Jack Keane. And this is their latest and greatest. It is the first in a three-part series, and that's what I know about it. So, let's get started. Okay, so chapter one's what we have here, chapter two and three. I don't know. I'm not sure if those are actual part of this game or if that's like the next games. We'll assume that's where we're going. Anyway, chapter one. Chapter one. There you go. It's a bad start. It's a bad start to my adventure gaming. See what our opening intro might look like for us. Currently blackness. It's black as night. Turn of the Raven. Yeah. Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? Uh oh, where's Harold at? Harold? Get your Billy Club out. Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. Oh, we're gonna steal that. Or someone's gonna sell that. Probably not us. Shh! Calm down. Oh, a copper. We're on the same side. A copper? What are you doing here? And where's Harold? How'd you get in? Well, there's another guard back there unconscious. That's probably him. The Eye of the Sphinx. Where is it? It's there. Oh, good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean the raven's heir? Shh, turn it off. He's gonna steal the eye. But how do you know? Because I'm him. Matter. All that matters is that we catch him. Do you understand? Yeah, but do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. All right, now, we just have to... <gasps> oh, wow. Halt! Go get him. You're under arrest! Whoa! What? Did a raven just murder two people? Not cool, raven. Not, not cool. Just steal the jewel and get out. You had to go killing people. So that was quite the opening little scene. We were introduced to our antagonist, I suspect. I thought maybe our protagonist for a moment, but you know, doesn't look like that at the end. And now that we've had some danger, we can have a nice, relaxing train ride, I suppose, through the countryside. The very pretty countryside. I have to say, I like this music. The musical score so far is excellent. The graphics are excellent. I obviously can't comment the gameplay, so I haven't done anything yet, but that's okay. Going for the movie feel, I suppose. Let you see all the 
people involved with this that you're not going to read, but there they are. Their hard work laid out before you. And there's a bunch of text I can't read. But it says something was stolen in London. So that's all you need to know. Cause we just watched it happen. Man in a raven mask. I don't have time to I get you shot in America. As you know. You're funny, but you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. You should go away. Who is he? Who are you? What's your name, boy? My name is Matthew Miller. Hey, Matthew. How are you doing? From Matthew Miller. From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. But my mom and I live in England now. She's taking care of some rich old lady. We're on our way to Venice at the moment. We're taking a cruise on a big ship. Impressive. You've already seen half the world. I've spent my entire life in Switzerland. Must be nice really place. Boring. What? And what's with the gun? What do you need it for? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Dead birds don't need guns, nor do live ones. That's right. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre and those priceless eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. And Bobby Dobbs says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was. Although, I don't quite buy that bit about the crown jewels. He wouldn't lie to me. He's my friend. You do know these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old Raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. The Raven light. Oh, I didn't kill him. That's something. Really? Yeah. Yes, Ronald Weasley. And do you know what the papers say? <clears throat> you talk too much, Constable. Zelda, monsieur. Anton Jakob Zelda. Or did he pull a gun on you? No. He sir. did, actually. Get a move on. This is our crotchety boss, I suppose. Le Grand. It's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate I really don't like him. The Swiss police. But why are your arms crossed? Better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. I was just talking to a passenger. What's your problem? Monsieur, your journey on this train is most unusual. That's right, it's being inquisitive. It's to the burglary at the British Museum. Not in the least. Uh-huh. Be safe? What's that for? I'll let you know if we need your help, Constable. So why are you bothering me if I'm not... I'll be in the first freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. Good. Leave me alone. I'm not here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I... I am a good observer, and I have finely honed powers of deduction. Thanks to that? I watched the people on the platform in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late fifties. All right then, Constable... Zelda. Constable Zelda. Try to get my name right. Such a clever fellow. What am I doing on this train? Being a jerk. Being a jerk. You are... How does know this? Search someone, you're guarding something. I think you're guarding something. Oh, really? And what might it be? Jewels. Whatever's in the safe. I really couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you are very important. There you go. They wouldn't have assigned the case to you. Appeal to his right. ego. <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safely. Then why isn't the train crawling with bullets? Because you don't arouse attention or it's a trap. 
not necessary. I like both of these. Um, it's a trap though, I like that. Let's go with that. It's, it's a trap. <laughs> You've got a vivid imagination. Come on, that's a good answer. I'll give you that. Well, that is impressive, I admit. But the fewer people involved, the better. We'll get along fine without you. No, you won't. Boom. Won't. Pardon moi. I can help. And I will help. Oh, my goodness. In my country, and I've been ordered to assist you. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Exactly what I'll do. I was about to say, you just insert yourself in this guy's operation. And stop. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zalna. But this is my show, and I don't need you. Bon voyage. Yeah, Taylor. But you need that. How do you know? You need a longer jacket. <sighs> just saying. Hey, Weasley. Oh, hello. You cheated. I did what? I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. He told you everything himself. <laughs> you were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really tell on me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa. It was him? Yep. Mm -hmm. Take him out of your wooden pistol. Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I would. Good Weasley, good Weasley. All right, Matthew. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie. You lie. Everybody calls you Weasley. Don't even play. Don't even play with Whether me, boy. Wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Do you want the game's controls? Yes. To examine the item, click on it. Do you not get any kind of help? You do, okay. So you get like a cursor changes when you click on something. This morning I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully I bought a sandwich in the anyway. Excellent. Move the mouse over the sandwich paper again. You see the cursor shape has changed and the text at the bottom of the screen says take the sandwich paper. Boom. Right, don't leave your trash sitting around. You can see the items character and left click on sound shaper. And I can use it with other objects. Excellent. Clean up yourself like a good man. That's good. Open inventory and right click. I wrap the apple core in the sandwich paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trouser pocket. Good so deal. I prefer not to have to carry them all day. Of course, you also use the items inside the inventory with each other. Left click on the paper napkin, then click on the... Click on that, then on there. It came with the croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I don't need that either. Is this a trash can? Like, what is this right here? Dump litter box from your inventory. Use the into the ashtray. What? That was weird. Why am I putting litter in the? It's like fourteen right. times bigger than the ashtray. Anyway, okay. That's never mind. Never mind. So we got our book. Let's look at our book. The Vicarage in the Mirror, a detective novel by my favorite author, Lady Clarissa Westmacott. For years now, I've been trying to convince my theater group to stage one of her plays. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's just the book over there. Yes, I'm ignoring that man. We're nothing special. All right, let's look at the violinist. The violinist is a good-looking fellow. And he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. The With the shades drawn, his violin is better tuned than he. Better tuned than he? I'm not sure what that means. He seems nervous. Hello, sir. Hello. Why are you nervous? Where are you going? Going to Istanbul nonstop? No. I'll transfer in Venice to a ship. I'm on my way to Cairo. 
Cairo. I'm performing at a reception in the Egyptian Museum there. I'm sure your recital will be a great success. But tell me, did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything unusual? Persons yep. acting suspiciously, for instance. For heaven's sake. Like yourself, with your nervous left hand there. Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't notice anything. Have a good trip. Thank you. So I just make a note in my journal? What happens? I heard scribble marks. Highlight all current hotspots. You have to pay adventure points to do so. That sucks. Give me, okay. Notebook, let's look at it. Return the Raven, Inspector. Yang's a trap, the violinist. Oh, this is cool. Got a drawing, so okay. Man, my link class claims to be a soloist since you're rather worse for the wares. Handshakes. Neat. Okay. It's a different person, older, more worn. He's still a successful detective. There are rumors that his methods in recent years have become, shall we say, reckless. Seems to be laying a trap, because I said so. He's a pretty good drawings, right? Especially for him sketching, like in half a second, like he did. I don't know what that says. The Raven was greatly esteemed by the public for his clever, daring robberies. Copycat criminal, blah de blah. Imitator leaves Raven feathers at the scenes of his crimes. His thefts exhibit none of the original Raven's refinement or gamemanship. So it's the Raven's like daughter or something, right? Last year's robberies have resulted in a total of five casualties, though no deaths. Okay. Return of the Raven. Right. Rather valuable ruby was stolen from the British Museum in London. Eyes of the Sphinx. Which could be related to that whole Cairo thing of the violence going to Cairo. President Tizzy is what I expect. They blame the new Raven for besmirching the reputation of the old... Wow. Alright. Look for cues to unveil the... Okay. So we got content. Okay, so we got content and notes secrets gotcha 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 all right so you didn't say anything interesting let me walk back here very kind of you thanks why'd you step in front no 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 problem the uniform is waterproof uh, mr lucio professor edgar lucio oh a professor are you a scientist? Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. Really? I don't say. Where the jewel was taken? So, you were, uh, shall we say, an eyewitness to the burglary two days ago? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? Well, there was a lot of commotion, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break in in your museum. And it didn't concern you. That does seem weird. Let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. <laughs> so archaeologist. Anything suspicious? Except for me asking you random questions? On the train. Here. On the train. Yes. No. I can't say that I have. Although I did spend most of the time in my compartment. Uh, where are you going, man? Can I ask where you are going? Of course. To Venice. I'm Good place. Going to meet some colleagues there. Oh, Venice. Some hesitation I sense. beautiful city. So I'm told. Indeed. But I really have to take my leave now. But I didn't go through it. No, you don't. Just a moment. That's right. I got one more question. Inspector Legrand is on this train. I imagine you know him. Uh, no. Should I? You don't know him? And you also don't know what he's doing here? No. <laughs> well, why should I? Just a thought. You're a representative of the British Museum. There's a guarded safe on the train. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're trying to imply. And now, please excuse me. All right. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time. Now that I spilled your tea you everywhere. Don't you? That what concerns me is the present. 
and especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, of course, of course. It's just, I I'm in rather a hurry. You'll get in touch if you notice anything unusual, won't you, Professor? Of course, Constable. Everybody on this train is shady. Everybody. What's, What's the matter, sir? The door. I can't open it. Ah, we'll sort it out somehow. The compartment is locked. But I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward. He was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. Find the steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Oh. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. You don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. Or what? All right, just wait here. Are you freaking out about something to help? Get my way, man. Where's your tea go? Enter the saloon car. Examine the apartment door. The little label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue blood on the Orient Express. Sounds like a firecracker. Let's talk to her. You are not her. Whether that is James, ask them whether they found my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this train is driving me crazy. You're missing a purse. Was it stolen? At the very least, I cannot find it, sir. It was stolen. Oh, I like her. When did you... When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich, on the platform, sir. I just asked where you last saw your purse. In Zurich, on the platform. You, that, he told you already. I told him that I still had it when I got out to stretch my legs. The Baroness says... Yeah, I got it. you lost it there. What? But the Baroness never loses anything, sir. I never lose anything. Yeah, man. Well, be nice. I shall be on the lookout for your purse. If I might ask you a few questions. I doubt it. Fellow passengers. I doubt it. I thought he was looking for my purse. James, tell him to look for my purse. The Baroness wishes that you search for her purse. James, you're a better man than I am. Could we, perhaps? Nope. All right. First, the purse. I... I will have a look around. Good man, let's do this. Alright. Professor suspicious, that's alright. Anything else you know about this bar? No. Examine the lock. I'll do with that later. He seems super nervous. Don't he talk to him though. Make a very balanced impression. Right? And he of all people isn't bothered by a robbery in his own museum. He's like he started a fire in that room. It's kinda crazy pants. Why'd you do that? <laughs> 